Hey, my air signs, and welcome to my channel. I'm doing a weekend love reading for those of you who are single. This is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 8th and 9th. Um, this is for people who are not attached to anybody, not waiting for anybody, um, just super single and ready to find love. So let's get started and see what Spirit has in store for you guys. Spirit Angels, what message do you have for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? In that order, please, for our single air signs. All right, Gemini, you guys have the hair front. So, um, yeah, Libra, you guys have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and Aquarius, the Ten of Wands in reverse. And your guys' overall um, crowning energy is the Death in reverse with the Queen of Swords behind. So, all right, let's see what we got here. Some of you are resisting change. You're resisting this death card. Some of you are resisting a Scorpio as well. Um, but for you, Gemini, you guys are refusing to, um, I'm hearing refusing to settle. So um, you could be split from a spouse. Um, I do see you are single, but you're still maybe technically married or you're acting single, but this has to do with not giving up on, a, not letting go of a marriage or somebody's not letting go of you, even though you guys are acting single. Gemini males. Okay. So Gemini males, you are definitely the one that is acting single. You are actually vibrating at a very high, um, yeah, you're vibrating very high. You're very, um, where you're supposed to be. You, um, you also have your eye on somebody who's got their stuff together. They're, um, emotionally balanced. They're financially balanced. They've just, they've just got it going on and they are single. Um, you could possibly want to make a connection, want to ask this person, um, to make a commitment to you. Uh, I do see that as well. Let me get one more for that one. Yep. Yeah. Um, some of you, this is for a separate group of you, um, Gemini males, you are refusing to move forward, um, in the path you're meant to be with this death card in reverse. Most definitely you're refusing to move on refusing to have this, um, transition in your life. Uh, and it was due to a third party. You're not wanting to give up on this um, relationship, even though you guys are in separation. Yeah. Okay. Gemini females, you have the four of cups um, energy. So you guys are bored, um, discontent. You're you're not acknowledging all the blessings that you have. You're just focused on what it is that you're missing out on. Um, yeah. So um, there's so many different situations that I'm getting right now. So you're, um, you're bored in a marriage, even though this is a single reading, I'm getting this message very strong. Um, you're bored in a marriage. Make sure you know how green your grass is because it's not any better on the other side. Water your own grass and this will be successful for a different group of you. Um, you are refusing to give up on a connection, even though you're not together, you are technically single. Um, and you guys aren't together you refusing to give up on that because you know that they are that one blessing. You know, they are the ace of cups. This person is going to come back this weekend, more than likely. Um, let's see. <laughs> the chariot, they're coming back. Um, it's, it's speeding up. Things are going to move quicker, um, for you this weekend. Could be a Sagittarius or a Cancer that you're dealing with or a Taurus or any water sign. 
Libra females. Okay, so um, you guys have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse with the Death card in the reverse. So you're refusing um, to, to allow a relationship of your past to be healed from. So you're not... You're blocking everything that's coming in for you. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles, there is there is abundance, this waiting, but you have to allow this cycle that you are currently in to, to come to an end. Could be dealing with an Earth sign. Um, for you Libra men, you have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, or in the upright, I mean. So karma is working in your favor. Good things are coming for you. You could be dealing with a fixed sign, which is um, Leo, Taurus, uh, Scorpio. Which one am I missing? Yeah. So um, you could have been denied a a new beginning with somebody, but your karma is coming back in your favor. So things are going to start moving in in your direction in a positive way as soon as you pick a path and stick to it. Because this, whatever this is that you have been dealing with in the past, is is time to come to an end. And there's that Ace of Cups. So. Yeah, most definitely you have something coming in for you, you but you got to release whatever it is that you're holding on to. Libra females, uh, you have the Queen of Wands in reverse. So you could be um, very angry with somebody. An Earth sign also, uh, they just kind of flipped your world upside down when they left and you're refusing to move on from that. Yeah, so you got justice in reverse. So things aren't going to things aren't going to go in your um, favor. This is the karmic skills also. So you are also dealing with karma, but you're on the negative side of the the uh, karma. But this will come. This will come into balance. This also for some of you, you are holding off on getting a divorce and. Um, Yeah, and it, yeah, you're just out of balance. You have to, you have to release that. You also have the Page of Swords, so you're you're keeping a close eye on this person. You're, you know, checking on their social media. You're wondering what they're up to. You're looking at their Facebook, uh, Instagram, stuff like that, and it's just, um, it's not bringing you any, any benefit. Okay. Aquarius, you guys have the 10 of wands in reverse. So you're giving up on a, a connection, a passionate connection from your past. Um, okay. So, uh, Aquarius, man, you have the Queen of Pentacles, so you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn um, female that you are moving on from, or they moved on from you, High Priest. Hmm. Yeah, there was a lot of secrets kept between you guys um, with the High Priest and the queen of pentacles, there was something that, um, you were keeping from this person or this person from you that finally came out. Um, this could have been a secret person that you guys had, but that's coming to an end soon. It's in the reverse. So, um, it's not quite there yet. Aquarius females, you guys have the ace of swords. So you're, um, hearing the truth about a connection that you had in the past um, and you have walked away already because you're no longer living in that that haze of confusion. You have the Empress and the Star. So you're moving um, forward in your truth. You're going to create something new with somebody else. You're also going to meet 
um, a female in uh, your life that's going to come to you. This person is going to bring you the ability to start something new. This person will come to you in the next three months. It is a Taurus female. Um, lighter hair, light eyes. Um, yeah, this person's going to... This person's going to help you create something. It's going to be a wish of yours that that you have been hoping for. Yeah. You're somebody you have a you have a Gemini coming into your life within the next 10 weeks. That's going to bring you clarity to this person that you um, just ended this relationship with. And it's going to help you move on and close out this, um, this karmic cycle that you've been dealing with. In meeting them, you are going to meet a Taurus female. This Taurus female will help you in this creation of something, a, creation, a creative spark, something that you've been trying to get off the ground. Yeah. And this will be achieved by this season of Aquarius, which is the um, end of January, beginning of February. Okay, I'll pull one more card for you guys. Whoa, whoa. Or more than one. Okay. Wow, letting your friends help. Like I was saying, you're going to, especially Aquarius, you're going to meet a friend through this uh, new lover you're going to have. Um, that's going to help you create something big. This is something big for Aquarius. Um, let your friends help. Don't be afraid to ask and accept support from others. And calling in your soulmate. So prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Congratulations. That is a beautiful card. Um, especially tonight with the new moon in Virgo. I'm so excited. Make sure you're doing your release rituals and all that jazz. I will be live tonight, guys. I think I forgot to tell the other signs that. But I am going live tonight at 7 o'clock. Um, that's Central U.S. Standard Time. And um, we're going to do some some new moon energy um, readings. It's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure you guys join me. But most definitely be doing your rituals this weekend, guys, because you're calling in your soulmate. I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend. I hope you uh, air sign singles enjoyed your readings. Lots of positive things coming forward for you guys. Um, you're just kind of hung up. You're kind of hung up this weekend on somebody. But I don't see you that lasting long. I don't see that um, hindering you guys in any way. It's just kind of like a, a hiccup in your, um, in your healing. So I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend. And I hope to see you guys tonight. God bless.